Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to give you a quick little short demo of how I have my Gear VR with the Samsung S7 hooked up through Trinus. You can see here I have X-Plane 10 loaded up. I do have all the rendering options turned down so they're rendered as low as possible just to kind of show you how it works. Um, in the corner here I've got the Gear VR option A selected. Um, image quality I have on Ultra. Um, compression release in the middle, capture mode. I've messed around with these a little bit, but it really kind of depends on what you like. Um, I did have to set the sensitivity down a little bit. It didn't like the sensitivity too much, so I had to kind of set it down a little bit to make it work properly. So, going further, I'm just using a Wi Fi. Everything else in here I've not even touched. Um, so, I was really excited. I wanted to get an Oculus Rift, but uh, $600 for an Oculus Rift. And I thought, uh, let me try and see if I can do it myself. So this is what I'm actually going to try. So I'm going to go ahead and get it fired up here. So I'm going to pop my phone out of the Gear VR. I'm actually going to show you here on the screen. You can see this is just a Trinus menu here. Go ahead and tap, well, I guess this side here. Go ahead and tap to start it. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone back in my Gear VR here. Okay, snap back in there. And then on my screen here, you can see I'm going to actually start the viewer. And then once the viewer starts, I'm going to go ahead and just click because Trinus uses windowed mode. You have to have X-Plane running in Windows mode. You can see as I move the Trinus around, or excuse me, as I move the Gear VR around, you can see my cursor is moving that's showing you that, that mouse is active. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Right now I just have a black screen. So you can see um, right here, um, it'll say streaming uh, black screen or it'll actually say stream. So right now if I look at my goggles, this is the actual view I get. Now I can right click and I can move my head around. The problem is if I right click, I can't have my hand on the joystick and the handle as well. So, I've realized that after watching the Dutch video, all you have to do is double click on the right cursor and then your hands are free. Now as I move my head, you can see here I'm in the cockpit of this Sirius J. As I look down, I can look around, I can turn all the way back around and I can see the people in the back seat. Around this way, I can see the people in the back. And you can see it allows me to have both hands on the steer. I will say this though. Looking straight ahead now, you can see I'm actually looking just a little bit to the side. So what I realize you have to do sometimes you have to right click, move yourself back to zero by dragging, and then right don't right click again. Then it sets you. But overall flying is nice. You can see I'm going to go ahead and take off here. Put a little rudder in there. Again, you can see I've drifted over the side, so I can't really see myself, but I feel like I'm looking off the side of the screen here. But once I actually set it, you can simply pause it. I'm going to go ahead and just drag myself back to zero. I think that's about zero, and I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. Now you can see I'm back here. Again, I can look around. Double click again. I can look around, look up beside me, beside me, look next to me again. I've got the resolution and everything turned down to just give you an idea of what it looks like. I'm going to keep playing with the resolutions, try and set them up a little bit, figure out how to get the drift to not be as bad. And uh, if I get something worked out, I'll let you guys know. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you guys soon.